like your enthusiasm. All right, that, that concludes our, our short uh, talks from participants, from you. Um, and, uh, and now I, I'd really like to uh, uh, move on because we need to close. It's getting late. The Nina, it's, uh, it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really, uh, uh, you're really a trooper, I got to say. Um, so I'd like to say this is the first time we've done an online activity. Um, uh, well, the first time the college has been online, uh, ICDP's toyed with it. Uh, we didn't do an activity last year, but it, um, but at any rate, it, uh, so I'd like to ask you a couple of questions and, uh, because, uh, thinking about it, I, I, I really, uh, you know, the possibility is going to exist to have hybrid, uh, meetings from now until the end of time, I, I imagine, um, but I, I, I really would not like to have activities where only some people get to come and others don't. So, so when we were thinking about this, it was really trying to find a time where people in Latin America and people in the Far East and the Middle East and Europe uh, could all get together at least for a couple hours. So is this timing? And you don't have to answer me now. You can, you can always send an email, but, uh, but you know, if, if we're gonna do this again, uh, like to know your thoughts on that. Is it, uh, you know, was this a, a good slot of time so everybody could could attend? Uh, and especially for you, people like, like Nina in, in the Philippines or anybody uh, any, anybody else. So that that's the first question just to consider about the timing, what, how we, how we organize to uh, reach all the time zones. And, uh, and the second was about uh, the, the duration for an online activity because I don't think uh, I want to contribute to Zoom fatigue to anybody. It's actually a real disease. Uh, I guess it is. But uh, anyway, any any thoughts you have, uh, welcome to hear them. Uh, and any thoughts about how going forward online, uh, we can do this. By the way, before we do any of that, I really want to thank because I think uh, I think Joe, you're you're still here, and, and Randy. Uh, I don't think John made it back, and, and all the speakers in the first day, uh, Imrana, and John Freddy, and Umberto, really want to thank you because that this has really been a, a really fun topic, and I think it's uh, you know it's in a in a few short lectures you really uh, you really managed to uh, to really engage everybody, and, and I'm really happy that we got the numbers we did. So anyway, thank you very much to to all the lecturers uh, that came. So. So anyway, now the floor is open. So if you really wanted to say anything and any any uh, advice towards the next year, how we do this, uh, if, if assuming that we uh, can again do it completely online, I, I don't know what the future holds. Henry, get your hand up. Yes, thank you. Well, uh, I actually I think that this type of online activities uh, will enable uh, most people to attend. Uh, that possible because of resources kind of travel. In fact, for me, it was the case this time. And um, something that probably can be done, or can be do, uh, can be done to, to improve this uh, online is to enable rooms where, for instance, uh, we can talk uh, uh, specifically with some of the authors uh, to have this kind of, like a, when you are in the real meeting, you just look for the author and. Uh, just talk with him personally. So just to get better on this time of live uh, activities, events, probably enable these rooms uh, okay. virtually also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a great suggestion. I've heard of those things. Like I say, this is the first one I've ever done myself. So I, I really did it basic and, and as simple as I possibly can. So I understood. Uh, but yeah, so the the um, what you're talking about is in a real conference or a real school, physical presence school. You can actually grab the lecture afterwards, go to coffee, uh, and, and do all these things. Uh, the other thing were poster sessions because I I think there's if anybody has any experience on online poster sessions because we've always had a very vibrant poster session uh, and I, I kind of miss that. So okay, Jahan has uh, got his hand up. Jahan. Jahan, Jahan been to a lot of. Hi, Julian, everyone. So 
We are very thankful to you and all the team of ICTP and the worldwide to have this activity possible. And I really appreciate the work you have done. Uh, there were very nice lectures, very informative lectures, and I have enjoyed the student session, very good talks by the students. So thank you very much. And I want to congratulate you for organizing such a successful activity. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, John. John's, John's been a, a good, John's been around for a long time. How many years have you? I mean, we met in Pakistan, I think. When you were no, actually, last time I was there in the COVID outbreak, and then you I was there in, in twenty twenty. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's the first time. I think the first oh, the time first time went. that yeah. was in two thousand fifteen, I think. Yeah, I think I think we we're both we're in Islamabad at NCP and. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, I remember that's uh, uh anyway. So Jahan, it's for everybody else, Jahan was featured in in Umberto's talk for sure. Um okay, I got I see Anna Concertini's got her hand up. Anna. Yes. Uh, Joe, you, you know that I am strongly in favor of the winter call of this college in presence. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know that, no, and this is more similar to a conference than to a college. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like this. In addition, here we lose completely the laboratory activity. And of course, as I am involved in the laboratory activity, uh, this is lost. Of course, this is better than nothing. It's better to have a online college, then nothing. Do yeah. you think that next year it will be possible to have the college in person? Yeah, well, okay. Well, thanks. So I, I'm I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I, I really hope so. You mentioned laboratories. I really don't know how to do laboratories. I think you probably could do something yes. online, but it's beyond me. I'd have to be an expert at it. Um, I think it's my personal opinion, it's, it's better than nothing. I mean, it's better than better than nothing. It's actually, it was quite, quite very, very useful. And I thought it, uh, it had that school, that school feel to it. So it's just not exactly the same. Um, but I think it, I think it had a lot of, there's a lot of merit uh, there. So anyway, it was, it, it lost some things. It lost the poster session that lost the hands-on. And for everybody else here, you know, we've, we've introduced laboratories and that's a, a lot of that is uh, Anna Concertini and uh, Umberto has been running our lab. So you saw that talk and uh, Ron has been working on those as well. And others, uh, Nicoletta and uh, John Freddy's even <laughs> when he was here. So we've had a lot of laboratory and, and Jahan, we had a lot of laboratory activities. And I think we really miss those hands-on activities uh, coinciding with the lectures. So at any rate, uh, we're hoping for the best. I really don't know. Uh, you know, ICDP has people coming from all over the world, uh, and the problem is not every place in the world is, you know, over the COVID hump, and and so travel travel is actually getting a little expensive. Um, uh, fortunately, ICDP is not expensive; uh, it's basically free. Uh, but uh, anyway, you got to get here, and, and and that's been a real problem. And like I said at the beginning, I really do not want to have a just a segregated college with some people able to be here and everybody else not. I, I, I just rather do it all online until I can, we can get back to normal. Okay, <laughs> that's just the way I feel. Uh, okay, John Freddy, you got a- I have another point, excuse me. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, do you want know to the winner of the ICTP ICO award this year? Yeah, so uh, Imrana, I don't know. <laughs> award. No. Joe, yeah. I told you so many times, yes. That we yeah. must push Natalia to announce it. Yeah, we have to push the we have to push the committee to announce it. We do I have a winner, but, it, uh, but I, I can't announce it here until it's announced. Yeah. No, 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 it's already started. It's decided. Yeah, it's yeah. decided. It's decided. We decided in February. Yeah. <laughs> it no, was. It, yeah, but we can't we can't do it until the committee chair and uh, yeah. makes it all official with ICO. I I, I no way you can do that. Um, but the problem is, that's another problem. We can't, uh, you know, it's a problem also for us with other awards. Uh, we've been piling them up uh, because we, we like to honor people that come in person 
and meet their peers and, and uh, uh, give their talks uh, and, and be able to talk to just have discussions about what they're doing and, and all the best practices and everything else. Uh, and it seems a little bit less than <laughs> ceremonious to, to actually uh, have them give a talk online. But anyway, we're, we're, gonna, we're trying to fix that. Uh, we just keep kicking the can down the road thinking that next year we're going to be in person next year. <laughs> and I've been saying that for a couple of years now. So at any rate, uh, yeah, but we have, yeah, there are, uh, we've got two now that uh, have not, uh, well, the other one is of course from Armenia, he's been announced, but all right. Uh, John Freddy. Um, Barry, trying to say hello to Anna, Imbrana, Humberto and Jehan. It's nice to see you again. It's a great pleasure for me. Uh, I agree completely with, with Anna. It's not the same. The environment of ICTP, the laboratories, and everything is completely different. For me, for any student of the world, it's a very good experience to stay in ICTP. Yeah. I say, I, I think it is, it's, you must try to, to do it in person uh, next yeah. year because yeah. it's, it's not the same. I completely yeah. agree with Anna. Yeah. It's only my message. Right. Well, that's a good message. Know about it, but it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's great. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, Freddie. But uh, honestly speaking, there was a time that we were uh, a bit nervous about this online activity, and I'm very happy that it all went very smoothly and very nicely. Yeah. Yeah. There was. Thank you. Because yeah. last so, year it was. Uh, yeah, there was nothing. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, we didn't do it well. last year. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't do it last year at all. Actually, we were the very last activity in 2020. Uh, yeah. ICDP and the worst of the world closed one week after. Um, <laughs> but it, uh, no, but I agree. And in fact, ICDP is a very special place. It's unique in all the world. There is no other organization uh, where you have so many people from so many different countries coming all together at once. Uh, I like to say that, that ICDP, just about everybody's from someplace else. Uh, whereas instead of having a, a regional activity where you have a few people coming from someplace else, mixing in with uh, mostly locals. So that, that's a really, it's a unique part of ICDP. It, it leads to the part of the, the science for diplomacy uh, aspect, uh, all the nice things that go with that. And it's really a shame. It's, it, it was designed to have people here in person. It was not designed uh, for anything else. So it, you're missing that component. Uh, I think I, I'm actually quite amazed at how much knowledge gets how much uh, the, the flow of knowledge, how easy that is uh, over the internet, that's fine. It's just everything else, the understanding, uh, how do you get that to flow over the internet? I think there's a big impedance mass, mismatch. So, uh, and that's that's part of the ICDP culture, uh, having everybody together uh, to, and also socializing together and also playing music and dancing. So, all right, so uh, Hugo, I think you were next. Yes, well, first of all, thank you very much for, for organizing this event and for having the presenters. You can see that they are world class, um, all of them, Dr. Shaw, Dr. Babbitt, and Dr. Howell. Great presentations. They were not just very informative for the time that they had, they really nailed down the, the nail into, into the coffin whenever it came to the useful and applications. And I think as the previous people said, ICTP really may not have been designed for this sort of use. And nobody, and I think a good goal in ICTP is leaving no sort of segregation. But I think there is maybe some room since maybe some technologies such as LIDAR can be more commercially available. It would be very amazing if, for example, uh, some, some of the organizers could meet and say, hey, let's have a virtual workshop. We'll give you like a list, a bill of materials of materials to build your own LIDAR just to get the hands-on experience since it really will generally cost under a thousand dollars and maybe even cheaper because I think it's a good idea to take advantage of the great experience and, and talent that the speakers have. Yeah, Thank you absolutely. That's a really good point. That uh, John Freddie, <laughs> we were we were indeed thinking about this. It's just that time was running out, and it it, it added a complexity. But the idea to have people doing projects uh, 
also connected with the lectures, but doing them physically, obviously, where they were, not coming to ICDP. Uh, and in fact, that's uh, uh, that's something I think, uh, you know, it's something probably now that we, we've got this first one out of, out of in our system, we can we can probably move to kind of a model when we're doing applied things. Uh, to do that, you really have to do it locally. Um, and uh, so I think, uh, yeah, that's the only way I can see uh, that you can get back to the hands-on uh, practical applications um, and still have, uh, have it uh, be online. Um, the other option is also to have a regional conference uh, or to move it around the world and make it a hybrid, but uh, have a, a core one year in, uh, uh, in Latin America, one year in Asia, one year in Africa, et cetera. Uh, I mean, that's depending on how long this pandemic is going to go. Uh, that would also at least allow a few people to, to do this. Uh, I should say the American Physical Society, where I, I uh, uh, do some work, has, toy, has already toyed with this idea of having local groups getting together to, to watch the, the, the big March and April meetings. They're quite expensive. And so they, uh, so in developing countries, uh, basically you just, you get it for free, but uh, you can you can connect and, and have a satellite meeting uh, and then get all the plenary talks, et cetera, and, and, and make it interactive. And so uh, anyway, there's a lot of different models being talked about how to, to make it a little bit more inclusive, a little bit more interactive. I guess that's the, the main point. Uh, but yeah, the, the, uh, the hands-on stuff is, those are great ideas, though. Uh, so, Nicoletta, you, you had a question? Yeah. Um, a few thoughts. Uh, first of all, I, I'm really grateful for invitation. And uh, I'm grateful I, I, I am again with you, uh, even online. But uh, with Joe, uh, I want to say hello to Anna. I miss you a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Imrana, uh, Umberto, we met. Uh, Last year, with Umberto, I met several times in in inclusion Apoca for conferences uh, with Jehan, with Freddie. Uh, yeah, uh, I felt all the time ICTP is like our home. For several weeks, we we were there spending our time, and we felt that the world is very small, if he's allowed to say such things. And we were a uh, uh, a family there yeah. doesn't matter the language, the religion, or other uh, com conviction. So mm -hmm. it it was like in heaven, nice, warm, and uh, extremely civilized and high uh, uh, scientific level. Yeah, this was uh, what I, I I felt all the time. Uh, I attended uh, uh, ICTP Winter College, and uh, on a on a side, it's a very good uh, opportunity to have online meeting because, uh, as Anna said, uh, if we have nothing, it's better to have online because we are meeting together and we have continuity. So it's very important to keep. The, the tradition, the connections, and to go uh, forward is, is extremely important. On the other side, we shouldn't have to let uh, the achievement in the experiments, in the hands-on activities, which we did with hard efforts. So <laughs> yeah. from this reason, yes, uh, you should have to make uh, huge efforts to uh, receive uh, uh, support for continuing uh, the on-site activity. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah. Uh, but well, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I really hope we're coming back to uh, <laughs> to the to, to, uh, to really uh, uh, in person. I don't know. Maybe maybe Joe, you have an idea how we can uh, incorporate the uh, hands-on. Kind of remotely. I don't know. Maybe you haven't done it. <laughs> Has anybody done this? I mean, I, I assume you can. You can just about do anything. Uh, Homeland, Homeland is first. 
Komlam has asked uh, to talk yes. first. Oh, Komlam. Okay, I see him. Yeah. Okay. I, him. I didn't see. Sorry, I had my. Okay. Uh, I would like I would like to thank uh, Joe, uh, Umberto, Imrana, and uh, Jehan uh, for this opportunity uh, to meet the Optic uh, teams again, because uh, when uh, I left uh, Trieste. Uh, in 31st of uh, 2019, I cannot imagine that uh, COVID will stop everything. And uh, two years ago, uh, I will not hear. So uh, I would like uh, to thank uh, everything, uh, all the, the team, for this opportunity uh, we give us uh, to discuss about leader. And the leader is something uh, I wrote a lot before. Uh, uh, of leader, but this is new thing for me. So I would like uh, to be in contact with the professor uh, from uh, USA University to see how I can build a small lab in here uh, using leader as an atmospheric uh, research. Okay, thank you very much. All right, Th thanks, Komen. Uh, Komen is uh, was also featured in Umberto's talk. Okay, yes. so, and Colin, so you started a lab in Togo, uh, yes, yes, with some uh, capital equipment money from TWAS. That was uh, yes, yes, that was really good. So um, yeah, it's it's not easy, um, but you also have to get the time. So let me ask you a question, Colin. So how much time do you have to spend teaching, and how much time do you actually have for doing research? And, and where oh. you yes, here for example, it's very difficult. Uh, uh, we don't have enough time for uh, for his research because uh, here uh, I should have, uh, for example, uh, uh, eight hours for uh, per week. But now uh, I am around uh, twenty hours per week, so we don't have enough time uh, for research. I can say uh, I have uh, less than a quarter of my of my uh, time for research. Yeah. So it's very difficult. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. that's what I, I keep hearing. So that's okay. uh, which is a problem. Uh, yes. Uh, no, okay. Mm -hmm. So anybody any other comments before we wrap? Let's see. Henry, did you have a? I don't know. Yeah. Henry, did you have a comment, or is your hand just up? No. Well, thank you for all your activity and all your work. Mm -hmm. One comment uh, is about uh, that we can ourselves perhaps promote uh, our resources to attend going to ICTP perhaps by means of uh, uh, an agreement uh, between institutions to do research projects together. No, uh, for instance, I I have I'm on the way perhaps probably, most probably to get a, an agreement with ICTP, but uh, to install here. Uh, this uh, GPS receiver to monitor the ionosphere for traffic air. So I have a colleague that is now contacting me to 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 allow the, to allow him to install here in the university an instrument, for instance, and this will open possibilities for research. But of course, this is not the field of office. But I mean, here in the group, perhaps we can you can I don't know if it's possible to make a talk uh, about what are the the regulations. The norms for to, to establish this agreement so, so we can propose in our countries uh, projects because I, I guess in any country there are these uh, financial resources uh, yeah. that we okay, can I understand. yeah I, I think you just hit it uh, that you really hit the nail on the head it's just all finances well it's, it's not all finances but uh, so we do bring people up and we can move people we can send people to Montana we can send people anywhere in the world practically uh, not for a long time because we don't have the resources, but we can we can certainly uh, subsidize a visit of a couple of months, uh, and we do have a program for that. Also with American Physical Society, so uh, all of North America is covered and all of Europe is covered. So you can do that, uh, but it really requires a uh, collaboration where you can spend a couple of months, uh, at least a couple of months, maybe more. Um, so, but anyway, it, again, it just depends on the finances. And, and I think it's something that, you know, when you're talking about building up the scientific uh, ecosystem in any country, uh, 
what you call might call capacity. But anyway, you do have to build up uh, scientific expertise, and it's it's something that I think uh, governments uh, are pretty re readily uh, would fund these kind of short visits uh, if it if it really made sense. So that's the uh, that's the point. If you really can get there and do something uh, in a short amount of time, for theorists it's a little easier. For experimentalists, you got to get uh, you still got to there's a long, uh, steep learning curve uh, to understand the lab you're in. But anyway, yeah, we have programs like that. But you know, if you want to get involved, you're in Peru, right? You're, you're back in Peru, yeah. So yeah, if you want to get involved, and in, uh, we we should talk. We can talk offline and see uh, what we can do. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Joe. I think the next one is Umberto. Okay, thank Umberto. you. I I would like to say that uh, first to thank all the participants that also we encourage to participate, all the past uh, Winter College participants, and they really, uh, most of them uh, participate in this Winter College. I want to say uh, regarding this activity that, uh, as Anna said, is uh, more than nothing, but we prefer uh, in present, but